Hello everyone, this is my short tip how you get your ACCG renderings properly managed in the Fusion tab inside DaVinci Resolve. Color management and color workflow is not the most sexiest topic to talk about, but the whole topic, especially inside DaVinci Resolve, produced some confusion lately and maybe this saves you from some headaches. Without further ado, just let's get straight into it. The basic situation is that we have some 3D program properly set up with a system variable or some startup uh, to work in OCIO. In Blender, this looks like we have ACES here, sRGB set of view transforms. So Blender inside is working in the ACES color space. Uh, the view transform, so what we see on, on our monitor is set to sRGB and the rendering itself, so the sequencer is set to ACCG. So our file that we render is ACCG. If we render this out, this looks like this. Just let me quickly grab here the render view. So this looks like this. Red, just bluish white, and still some details remaining in the blacks. So if we save this file out as uh, XR, I did this here, uh, set the file format here to open XR, full float, save as render, save this out, already did this. Um, then we can load this up in Resolve. We just drag and drop the file here and it's loading up. So. The standard is that you have to set your ACES input transform and set the color space that this file was rendered in or is coming from. So even like if you have a Canon Cinema Cameo, you set your input device to Canon. Uh, if you have a red, you put it to red. In our case, we just put it to ACES CG. And we just drag it into the timeline. This only one frame. So um, what is the case here? This looks exactly the same like we had it in sub blender so the aces here like the whole color management is working now let's just assume we have some layers and some xr stuff and we have to do some post processing that is not basic overlaying some stuff then we just would have to go to the fusion tab now we have one problem let this quickly here it takes a while now we have a problem. It looks different and this sucks. So it produced some, some headaches lately why this is happening. Fusion is loading some kind of fusion viewing a lot on top of here that you can edit. And then you get this here. What is just stupid uh, because you cannot deactivate this here. This was the first problem I ran into. You can delete it, right click, delete it. Then you're still sticking to this manage stuff here. What is converting your input, what is ACES CG, is converting to sRGB in the viewer. What is not what we want, because this produces some stuff that is not right. So what you have to do is you have to disable this. Then it's looking too dark. Okay, still sucks, but now you can use your color space viewing a lot, edit this, and then you can set the source space to ACCG and your output device to sRGB. Uh, where is it? Out sRGB. And then it looks right again. Uh, uh, no look, nothing here. And uh, in my case, I have the, set the OCIO config file in a system variable, so I don't need to have some browse and look for the, the config file. Um, stupid, but this is basically it. So um, there are other people out there that put some kind of transformation in here um, that is changing the colors itself. This is producing one problem. If you put um, also I'll transform here. I can do this here quickly. You can put a transform in here basically to do the same. You have ACCG, uh, sRGB out. There you are. You pipe this into here and then put it to media two. It's changing the colors and basically you, you piping 
a node that is changing the colors back to your timeline. When you already have set up your timeline properly, then you don't have to do this. There is only one exception. If you have a Decklink Mini or something that is exporting to your external monitor um, that is not managed by Windows itself, that is uh, DaVinci output, then you have to do this here and take this ACCG. And if you see, I have three dots here. This is my third monitor that I cannot record. Um, then you have to use this node like by sight um, and pipe this just for viewing stuff in the uh, on the Decklink card. So what you do, you pipe your media in to the media out. You have your viewing lot here properly set up and this color space node here that you only use for your Decklink card and put this to third like third output here that you cannot see. And now I have every monitor producing the same same output. And when I go back to my normal edit, I still see my normal normal colors. What I had before. I can do post production here without changing any colors. Uh, and I still work in SSCG because my file is coming from SSCG. I have full dynamic range. I have full color space. And what is more important, I don't have to convert two times. So I could basically take this one here, copy this, and then revert this process here, like swap uh, source space and output space, and then pipe it back. But then I would have to do two times the color space transform, what is so slow. Uh, and if you have like a lot of different XR layers and some more frames, this will make everything unbelievable slow. So you just take the OCL color space for the viewer. So for your one final output, what you view. Um, and for your Decklink card, you have one separate if you have a Decklink card and you use it. So for your external reference device that is managed by DaVinci. So that's basically it. It produced some headaches because it's not uh, so convenient that you have to click on the edit here and then uh, the managed is not deletable. So if you delete it, it comes back. Um, and the fusion view gamut lot, whatever here is put put on, um, this view lot, the gamut view lot is not producing the right uh, the right colors. This is how you can do it. Um, yeah, I hope it saves you from some headaches, saves some time. Um, and if you have some questions, you just can comment and uh, try to go through it. Uh, I know that Asus is a uh, strange and new way of working with colors, but after the first little bit headaches, it's much, much better and much more simple than the, even the um, DaVinci RCM. Thanks for watching. And if you have questions, let me know. Bye-bye.